Many times after a patient has received stem cell therapy, the common question is, well, what can I do from this point on to help the stem cells provide the best possible benefit? And in many cases, the answer is just time. Uh, one is maintaining a level, high level of activity. Stem cells don't know that there's a problem unless they're, they, are, they see that a problem is occurring. So for patients who have joint injuries or joint problems, being able to maintain a level of activity that is at least at the level that they were prior to procedure will help the stem cells to recognize that there's still inflammation in this area. There's still some degree of disability that needs to be resolved and repaired. The same thing can be said of many disease states, even metabolic states, in which as we continue to try to improve the quality of our life by doing those activities that we find necessary or that we find enjoyment in, the stem cells will help to allow our bodies to achieve those states by recognizing that things just aren't working the way that they should. One of the things that we do so well here is we, we focus on what aspects of your life, your nutritional status, um, your past medical history, even your genetics and family history to be able to determine what things that we can do to help promote the best healing response from your stem cell therapy. That may be providing the best nutrients, it may be doing uh, nutrigenomic or specific genetic testing. There may be a lot of different things that are involved in ensuring that you do the best that you can to be able to heal and recover and repair.